Hello, Instagram. Back for another Thursday Instagram Live here with Rev Air. Give everybody a few minutes to join. Hi, Kyra. Hi, Panda Mary. Thanks for joining. Stacy, Diamond Love, thanks for joining. Cindy, Gen X Naturalista, thanks for joining. Miss Parks or Sparks, I can't tell from that. <laughs> Khadija, thank you for being here. Read Angel, Donna, thanks you guys. Thanks so much for joining. Welcome back for another Thursday. And if you wouldn't mind, hi there. Is it Aya or Aya? I'm gonna say it both ways so I can get you. <laughs> Hi, Tyra. You guys, thanks so much for joining. I'm so happy to have you here. Back for another Thursday Live with Rev Air. And um, I don't know about you, but I can see the weekend in sight. We've almost made it. But if you would do me a favor and tag a friend in these comments so that they will jump on and join us, we're gonna go over some great stuff tonight and we're gonna take your questions as well. I also wanna encourage you when this is over to jump over to the Rev Air story and go through our slides and there will be one slide there where you can put in your ideas for the Instagram lives you would like to see. Welcome Traveler Boss and Virgo Princess. Hi Alec, good to see you. Forgive me anybody if I get your handles wrong, it's a light in my face and the phone is so far away so I'm doing my best but thank you for joining. So I was saying if you would do me a favor and go ahead and put somebody's name into the comment section so they'll join us as well, that'd be amazing. And then in just a moment here, we're gonna get started with Ladosha Wright. She'll be joining us again. She's amazing. I enjoy her week after week. And she literally wrote a book called What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon. So she literally wrote the book on all of the topics that we're gonna talk about. So thanks for joining. Hi. Victoria, thanks for joining. So happy to have you here. Gonna give it just one more minute and then we'll get started tonight. Tonight is gonna be a topic I really know nothing about. And um, I suspect a lot of other white gals out there know nothing about this topic. And uh, I am not afraid to admit that because I'm really in this place of trying to learn and unlearn a lot of things in life. And to keep that momentum, that's part of why we're doing lives like this, is we want you to know that Rev Air has its eyes open and its ears open. And um, I may ask stupid questions along the way. Uh, it's not to offend anybody, it's just that I really don't know uh, the answers. And so when I ask it, it's to come from a place of learning. So if you will all bear with me as we go through these topics tonight, and uh, if I say anything that just sounds completely ignorant, it probably is, but it's not intentional. It's just not knowing. And this is how we'll all get better as a community. So thanks Bronwyn and Cindy and Monique for joining. Um, I was just saying that if you guys have a chance after this live to hop over to our stories, we wanna know what you wanna see here on our live events. So there is a box for you to type in your ideas and um, that would be really great if you would all head over there and I will literally be making the calendar of the upcoming lives and I'm sure you'll see your idea on there. So please head on over there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab Ladosha. Once I grab her, we'll do a quick introduction and then from there, hi Sergio and beautiful Mo, thanks for joining. And then we'll get started. So let me get Ladosha. It says that it's gonna be connecting to her in just a moment. Hi, Miss T. Hey, you. Hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, excuse me. I can see the back of your outfit, and it is very cute. If you guys agree, throw a bunch of hearts up. It's hot. <laughs> it is so hot here, too. It's hot. I'm like sweating from this light that's on me. I'm like, good lord. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, thank you so much for being here. I want to tell our audience, in case it's their first time joining, I want to tell all of them who you are and why you're so special other than just you were born and that makes you special. Oh! <laughs> but I want it. Hi, Sir Passbridge. Thanks for being here. Christ love, thanks for being here. Um, so I, I want to tell everybody, Ladosha is amazing. She's what I call a slasher. A slasher is like, you know how J-Lo is like, 
a dancer, a singer, uh, and she has like all these slashes under her or behind her name. Ladosha has a lot of slashes too. Ladosha okay. is a hairstylist, a master certified colorist, a trichologist, which is the study of the scalp and the hair, an author, a social media sensation. <laughs> so tonight we are going to talk about a topic and Ladosha, I saw you tell me in the comments when I brought it up. Um, that we're all family here. And we can That's right. So, That's you right. know, one of the things I feel most proud of is that at Rev Air, especially given what's happened in the recent weeks, you know, we're really quick to admit we, there are things we need to learn and there are things we need to unlearn as a mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. And I think knowing that you don't know everything is like half the battle, right? Like half, we don't pretend half. that we know everything. So now we've got to get there. So this topic tonight, I feel really naive about and like I don't know about. And so I want to tell our I want to tell our folks joining us tonight. So tonight, uh, Ladosha and I are going to get wiggy with it, and um, we are going to talk about wigs and weaves and extensions. So here's what I'll tell you as a white gal: I know what extensions are, and wigs. No idea. Now, what I will tell you is, as a white gal, I sure wish that would have been, like, more normalized in the white community because mm -hmm. uh, they're so fun. And you can change your hairstyle without ruining Absolutely. your hair and, like, a million other things. And a weave, that all seems so mysterious to me. So tonight, Ladosha's going to break it down for us. And I said, I may ask some stupid questions. And I'm going to try not to, but I'm sure if I have the stupid question, somebody else out there with fair skin like I is thinking the same thing. And maybe, just maybe tonight, we can educate everybody so that we have um, much more hair love going on for everybody. Hair love, hair love. <laughs> so, yeah. Ladosha, let's yeah. start with just the quick, the quick off the top definitions. Tell me the difference between a wig, a weave, and extension. Okay. All right. So let's start <laughs> off with a, a wig. All right. So first let me just say this when it comes to not knowing and the whole colorism and who's right, who owns what to what. Like I said in the feed, you know what, guys? We're all family. And so the good thing about Rev Air when we're talking about going live and asking questions is that there's no such thing as a dumb question. So yeah, we all okay. get to learn together. <laughs> and because we are a community, so if there's anything that Crystal and I have missed, maybe we got our dates wrong or our time frame wrong, maybe even our information the good thing about being family is that you guys get to chime in and correct us if we're wrong because we're Please. all family. Yes, and nobody has the answers to every single thing. So I would only that... ask one thing is we correct with kindness. And yes, we keep our Ooh, I like full that. Of kindness. Yes, we correct, correct with... with kindness. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, so we're all learning together. So let's just keep all that nice and, you know, all the niceties and pleasantries up front. Because, like you said, we are family and we are learning together. So with that being said, um, there is a distinct difference between wigs, weaves, and hair extension. Oh, so let's start off with, <laughs> so wigs are something that you can actually buy. It's a headdress, a headpiece that actually has its roots. Now, again, I'm coming from a perspective of African culture. But yes. one thing we want everybody to understand is that every nationality, they have their own story of origins of how things got started. So what may have happened in, in Egypt may not have happened in China, may not have happened in Russia. So right. every single place has their own story of origins that varies from nation to nation, culture to culture. But we know without a doubt that wigs definitely have their origins in Egypt. And so what they would do back in the days of BC they would, you know, scalp before their crystal? Have, before yeah, crystal, before is before that crystal. That would be BC <laughs> before crystal. Okay. They would, you know, um, they would scalp their captors and they would create these wigs. So that's where the wig making actually started. And so part of it was just to kind of make fun, like aha, we got you. But then somebody said, wait a minute, this kind of this this kind of cute. You know, let's, let's, let's wear this for real. And so then it became something of adornment. Now, of course, when you go into history, it's a little bit better than what I just said. But I that's like just about version. the gist of it. 
<laughs> yeah. And so that's the origins of wigs is that you take hair, artificial hair or synthetic hair, and you're going to put it onto a net and you're going to place it onto your head and you can wear it on or off, you know. So some people, they, their wigs have names, um, personalities. So that's the good thing about wigs. Some people even call them hats. So well, the wigs I was just going to say, so you. a hat can be like, it, a wig can be like a hat. Is It can go on and go off. Now, if you guys all love me right now, you'll put in the comment section, you're going to tag Lisa Renna from The Real Housewives because she names her wigs. And I'm okay. desperate, I am desperate for her to name a wig Crystal. So everybody... Okay. At Lisa Renna in the comments, so we can get her to watch this and name it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna make sure. What I wanted to say is, okay, so I'm gonna ask some of those questions about wigs. So, okay. Wigs. Do women sleep in their wigs? No. Most all wigs come off at night, um, okay. and so wigs can either be um, you can tie them down. Or they have combs that you can tuck them in. And they also actually have wig pins where you can actually pin the wigs in to make sure that they're nice and secure. But if you're a really good wig wearer, you'll take that bobby pin and tuck that right on in there. And that <laughs> wig will stay nice and secure. So everybody has different modalities and very unique ways to get their wigs to stay on. But I would venture to say that 99.9% .9 of the people do not sleep in wigs because... Number one, they're terribly hot. And then number two, they're quite embarrassing, you know, if they come off. So if you know what I mean. Mm. Just mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. Yeah, you All gotta right. make sure that thing's on secure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, woo! I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> wigs on the floor. Yeah, so right. wigs, not many people are sleeping in I mean, you can fall asleep with, in it. But just as a rule of thumb, people generally don't sleep in wigs. I think that's an interesting comment you just made. Thank you, Cindy Walker Tate. I love you for tagging Lisa Renna. I'm going to send you a surprise for that because you were the first one to tag her. So I'll be instant messaging you later. Look for it. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I have some questions. So you talked about the wig coming off and then that would be embarrassing. So in my mind, is it embarrassing to be seen without your wig? Or is it more embarrassing for your wig to fall off? Well, I think that nowadays everybody is aware that, you know what, it's all fashion, it's all fun. So it depends on, you know, where you're at and how you're going to wear the wig. Not many people are wearing a wig under the guise that it's their actual hair. So there's um, no those, stigma to it if you, yeah, people it's, know it's a wig. Yeah, okay. Right. So, so what may be uncomfortable about the wig is what's underneath. So if you have a scalp condition as, such as alopecia areata, um, or maybe you had a scalp faux pas, you had chemical burn, and mm -hmm. so aesthetically, the scalp may not what we call look good. So right. that can make a person feel very uncomfortable, um, but they may be comfortable with wearing a wig but actually showing a bald head that's not smooth like Mr. Clean, to some men and women, because men wear wigs as well, that could be very, very uncomfortable um, to just be exposed in that regard. But like I said, nowadays people are very, you know, upfront, like this ain't my hair. Though someone just left today. Well, that's what I was just going to ask you is because, um, and again, if you guys are just joining, we're having a very candid conversation today where I'm probably going to ask some questions that people are like, really? But we're going to make this a safe spot for people to learn. So um, here's one of the things. So as like a single gal, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if you're wearing Spanx, you don't want somebody to know you're wearing Spanx, right? Like, you feel maybe like you're trying to keep it all together. Sorry, Sarah Blakely. You're my favorite person. <laughs> everybody tags Sarah Blakely, too. But if, you, if you're wearing them, you don't want kind of everybody to know you're wearing them. You want them to just think that's you. Is there not that same sort of hiding when it comes to wigs? No, I don't think so. I think that what the... The hiding comes from um, the concept of the notion of hiding. It's more likely coming from people who bully and who shame other people. Mm -hmm. um, and so sometimes it's one thing to joke, you know, and play the dozens and, you know. Oh, um, all if, if by you're myself, un... I'm going to yeah. be sending you a prize, too, for being the first person to put Sarah Blakely in there. Thank you. I'll be looking, looking for me in your DMs, sliding in. Yeah, so, so I, I would say 
the 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 uncomfortable of wearing the wig or just you know um, the quote unquote stigma. More than likely, that's coming from people who are talking about people who wear wigs. So sometimes, like, you know, your commentators and then you have your, uh, uh, like, your Hollywood gossip people, your gossip girls. So those are the people who have a tendency to really pick on people who don't either wear a wig correctly or maybe the wig was very unkempt, you know, something like that. But in general, I think that people are very confident with wearing the wig. It's just that sometimes, you know, the certain people can be very mean when it comes to judging people when, they, when they're when they wearing wigs, even if it's incorrectly. I just think that most people don't know, you know, and um, and, and I would just leave it at that. A lot of people aren't aware sure. of how to wear the wig properly. I don't think we should be shaming people, but people I don't do it. I don't either. People yeah, are I, so mean. Mm. So I would like to say a couple of things before we move on to the next part. Um, the first one is WW Sailor. You are the first person who tagged Lisa Renna and Sarah Blakely. So you'll also be getting a prize. That's three of you getting prizes. I'll be sliding into your DMs. Thank you so much for your support. So if you are just joining, we're here with Ladosha Wright. Ladosha is a hairstylist extraordinaire, a master color certified uh, colorist, certified colorist. I didn't get that out very well. Um, and she also is a trichologist and an author. She's written a book called What She Don't See, What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon and Curly Hair Adventures, which we will be having a giveaway of that coming up on our Instagram page. So pay attention to that. Now, one last thing on wigs before we move to weaves. Okay. And oh, I wanted to tell the audience. So we're having a candid conversation me with my light skin and not knowing much about African-American hair, we're having a candid conversation where we might say things that seem like we should know that, but this is where we're learning and unlearning and we're having a safe space to have this conversation and any corrections are welcomed in the comment section, just corrections with kindness is all we ask for. So this is a place where we're continuing the conversation and momentum over the last month and trying to teach people so that they can learn more and have more hair love out there. So Ladosha, last question about wigs. Is it safe with Rev Air? Now, yes, so Rev Air, because you have the tension setting, um, that you can go from a light pull, a light tug, to a stronger tug. Um, and depending on the length of the wig and the style of the wig, regardless the color of your skin, regardless of your race, your ethnic background, your nationality, people from all walks of life and all different races and ethnicities, everybody wear wigs for various yes, reasons. Yes, exactly. So provided you have the wig onto your hair secure, you can use the red there. If not, you can place the wig on a wig form, which is like a mannequin head, but it looks like a yes, spiral Yes, we bone. actually saw someone doing that the yes. other day here on Instagram. Yes, and so you're just going to tack your, um, you know, your wig down to the wig form, and you can rev air it. Do I, do I use rev air when I color my tracks and pieces for my customers? Absolutely, I sure do. I even think I put uh -oh, some on the uh -oh, page. So yeah. me a loop. What's a track compared to a wig weave and an extension? Yeah, so when we get to the next topic, we'll go there. But to okay. answer the first, Girl, yes. you scared you me. Can, I thought there was a whole other thing I was learning today. No, so you certainly can use the rev air on the wig, provided it's secure to your head or and secure to your wig form. And you yes, just adjust the tension to your hairstyle. People joke all the time, like, oh, this thing's like a vacuum. It's going to suck my hair in. It's never coming out. There are seven tension settings to this. So you are able to use this as gently or with as much tension as you want. And even wow. on tension seven, it is not pulling your hair. It's no. creating tension in your hair, but it's not pulling your hair so that it hurts. So this is absolutely safe on safe. wigs. Of course, Very like safe. everything else in life, you want to start low and work your way up so that you can get the best results yeah. and know I how well that wig is made. All of those things will make a yeah. difference. So and now the only, oh, go yeah, ahead. The only thing is don't use it on synthetic hair because the results are unpredictable. So if okay. your wig is synthetic, 
then I would not use it because you're not quite sure, you know, if it's made out of tires, rubbers, plastic. So just oh, wow. to be on the safe side, make sure you're using your rev air on wigs that are made out of real hair. Okay. Got now it. next. Good okay. tip. Okay. So now I know what a wig is. Thank you so much. It goes on, it goes off. It can be clipped in. It can be gl glued in. It could be not glued, not glued. They not just glued. come on and off. They're just on and off. Okay. Yeah. So now we go to weaves. What Ooh. is a weave compared to a wig? All right. So now here's where we get into a little bit of what you're concerned about, which is the new big buzzword is now it's called cultural appropriation. And so I said, well, just jump on me about that. And so, uh, so first things first, we want everyone to know that weaves, the actual weaves that you sew onto your hair, you take a track of a, of a weft of air and you're going to sew it onto a braided, a cornrow braid. That particular technique is patented by a young woman. Well, she's mature now, but she's <laughs> from Cleveland and her name is Christina Jenkins. And so I believe in the late 60s, um, she had Hi, this, um, she submitted this actual patent. And so that actually belongs, to that technique legally, uh, professionally, uh, culturally, it belongs to Christina Jenkins. So, you know and, what, I think it's like one of those things when it's done really well, people call it that word, like, nobody says I have a hot tub, everybody says I have a jacuzzi, but jacuzzi <laughs> is a brand, right? Nobody says I'm using a tissue. They say I need a Kleenex, but Kleenex is a brand. So I think what you're trying to say is a lot of people call different techniques or different things a weave, and really that's her technique. Well, is that, that right? The, I, any form of sewing belongs to okay. her. Now, okay. Now, what happens is people will jack people for their stuff and make it their <laughs> own yeah. without giving credit. And so this is something that unfortunately, and, I, and, and, and people uh, of the white race, of the black race, all races have been accused of stealing something from another culture sure. and trying to make it their own. And so, um, and so, but in making it your own, because you can put a twist on anything and you can like flat arms, for example, uh, sure. some, some guy made those up and, you know, uh, but that's a little bit different from culture. So um, the cultural appropriation. So what we're saying about the weaves is, um, number one, they do have that particular sew in. So you have different types. You have weaves that you uh, tape in. You have weaves that you clip in. You have weaves that you glue in. And then you also have weaves that you sew in. So okay. the sew-in weave belongs to Christina Jenkins. And nice. so that when you see gifts, because there's a there's a couple well online. Well done, Christina Jenkins. Yes, well yes. So, done. You created yes. something that everybody everybody talks about. Should, right. And <laughs> so that technique now it has different names and different. You know they they have stolen it from this one, mm -hmm. but and they've given it fancy names. But if you're taking any weft of hair and you're sewing it, I don't care what name you call it, that technique belongs to her. So sew in is actually what it says. You're going to sew in a weft of hair and you're going to create um, these extensions that's going to stay on. And there are a myriad of techniques that you can sew this weave onto your hair. So that's the most popular. So um, your hair is the... braided underneath of it. Then the hair you're calling it a weft is sewn on. Sewn What's on. It sewn on with. You're going to sew it in with a special thread, not the okay. thread that you sew your cheek Close. jump into, yeah. it, okay? <laughs> so they actually have thread that's for um, the, the, the wig, and so, so it's not as noticeable and it's natural. And so, and then you just blend it, or you can put the whole thing in. So depending on your, the, the uh, technician's skill set, she can sew the entire, you know, wefts and pieces on, or she can leave pieces out, and it can all blend in. So that's probably the most expensive when it comes okay. to weave is the actual sewing in the weaves. What's most affordable are the weaves that you can either tape or glue in. Okay. So, but they get a lot of bad rap because some people sure. are allergic to the tape or the glue. And if the technician doesn't do a thorough consultation, they may as an oversight. I don't think people are being deliberate. Right. They just may not be aware that people can be allergic to the 
uh, the adhesive. So there are so many adhesives, too many to go over on this go <laughs> live, right. okay? So All right, how so, long mm -hmm. does um, the taped version last versus the sewn in? Can you yeah. wash both of them? And mm -hmm. can you use Rev Air on both of them? Okay. All right. So now, when it comes to using the Rev Air, I've used them on glue. I've used them on all of them, okay? Because mm -hmm. you have the tension setting. And if the person knows how to install the, the uh, tracks properly. Now, if they're not installed properly, then the answer is no, because <laughs> you may warm up the glue and the, the tracks may slide out, okay? okay? And the same thing with the clips. So if they're not installed properly, this is a no-no. But if they're in there secure and then let your stylist walk you through it, they will tell you, the technician will tell you, this is what you can and cannot do. So anything that you're going to glue, tape, or clip in, you're not going to wash that in your hair, okay? So that's over there. And the okay. Rev Air is safe to use, provided the install is secure, and allow the technician to walk you through it. Don't use this go live to justify <laughs> using the Rev Air. No, that's what Crystal's talking about. So don't listen to us. Listen to your technician about how and when to use the Rev Air. When it comes to the sew-in technique, it's, again, I would listen to the technician. However, some people do wash. They go swimming. They put it in ponytails. You know, depending on how the hair weaves and stuff like that. So what Crystal and I are again, is to take your advice from the technician who's doing the install. Do not go Absolutely. to YouTube. Do not go on to Instagram <laughs> and look at somebody else's and try to make it your own because you can't microwave this stuff. That's what Asar Imhotep and my BFF Kevin Hart always said. When it comes to education, you can't microwave it. So it's one thing to listen to us and be uh, inspired or, you know, get some inquiry or we can kind of wet your whistle a little bit. But we mm -hmm. do promote that it is imperative that anyone that's getting any form of hair addition, you have to take your education, your directions, and your home hair care from the technician. Absolutely. And even if they say it is safe to use Revair, and I will tell you, there are a myriad of people who will tell you that they do this every day with wigs, weaves, extensions galore, but you yes. need to take your information from your personal stylist or technician. And then if they say it's okay, you always still start very low, very low, low heat, low tension, and then you work your way up. And that is the way to make sure you're saving your hair. So now before we move on, I want to just go ahead and um, tell everybody in case they're joining again, this will be our last section here in just a moment. Um, we are on with Ladosha Wright. She is an author, a trichologist, which means she has studied the scalp and the hair. Her book is What They Don't Tell You in the Hair Salon, as well as Curly Hair Adventures, which is an amazing children's book. And we have a giveaway coming up in our Instagram feed very, very soon. So you guys should be following our page for that. Also, we would like all of you to tell us what you want to see here every Thursday on Instagram. So if you'll head over to our story section after you watch this, and there'll be a box where you can put your segment ideas. And the last thing is, we want this to be a place of learning and unlearning. We are trying to continue the momentum over the past month or so where people are really talking about their differences in a way that is kind and it's to get to know each other better and yes. without judgment. So while we talk, we may say things that you think, oh, how does that person not know that? But that's the point of this is that okay. there are people at all levels of learning and unlearning. And what we want to do is have the conversations and that that's so important. So um, yeah. feel free to correct us with kindness in the comments. We welcome that. And um, also feel free to ask any questions you would like to in the comments section. We'll get those answered for you as well. So now, Ladosha, we're going to move on to extensions. Now, okay. I feel like I know lots of girls with extensions. Do extensions mean the same thing on a white gal's head of hair as they do on a black gal's head of hair? 
That's right, extensions. Now, one thing I want the world to know about the world of beauty. Now, remember, this is, let me just swing my camera around. Woohoo! This is an actual beauty salon. So, in a beauty <laughs> salon, you know what we only see? You got it, beauty. So, beauty comes in many, in many forms on yes, different people in different ways. And so, we don't, when we're styling hair, what we don't really go off into too much is the color of the skin unless the customer brings it up. Because when they teach us about hair, they really don't like to pull race in because we're servicing people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And race is really a united space. It's an American thing. It in really other is. parts of the world. It's, I'm not saying colorism doesn't exist in other countries, but in America, we're not really big on. Yeah, so, so let's just say that. So when it comes to hair extensions, now you have, I mean, it's so many forms of hair extensions, it's unbelievable. So you have braid extensions, you have twist extensions, you have actual hair extensions where you can use See, the I already learned two things from. just then. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that there was something called braid extensions or yes, twist extensions. Lots. So right there, I already learned something. Yes, yeah, so you have braids where you can braid the extension hair in. You have two strand twists where you can cheddar. I need your hair right quick. Cheddar, get down here. <laughs> so my colleague, Cheddar, where you at? So here she comes. So my colleague, uh, can you grab me a mask too when you come down? So my colleague, she has Good a two girl. strand twist. Good and girl. so um and then the other, you can do lock extensions like the faux locks that looks like kind of like a Malcolm Jamal Warner. And then you also have braid extensions. And when Cheddar comes down, she's going. We're going to show. Wait, you is her name Cheddar? Is. Her name is Shalise, but I call her Cheddar. I she love likes, it. Because she likes, she likes money, okay? She's going to kill me. <laughs> she was like... <laughs> so, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So she's giving me my mask, and we got to do our, our social distance. Everything's so better try. with Cheddar. Everything is better with Cheddar. So Cheddar's going to come <laughs> over right quick. Come on over here, Cheddar. You can't see her. Watch Good job wearing your mask. Good there job, girl. Thanks, Cheddar. Hi, Cheddar. She said, hey, Cheddar. All right. So Cheddar has twisted it. Can you step up a little bit, Cheddar? She said, sure, girl. So sure, Cheddar, <laughs> Cheddar, can I take this down, Cheddar? Yeah, she, said, she said, but remember now. Cheddar, you said, had no idea you were going to be here yes. for this. <laughs> she said, don't forget this one up there. Okay. So these are twist extensions. So her natural hair is there. And then the technician added. Wait, where's her natural there. hair? It's tw intertwined with the twist tape. So it's twisted from the root. So it's twisted from the regrowth here. So they add her the hair, hair in. though. Her real yeah. How long is her real hair? Oh, her real hair is about this long. Okay, okay. Yeah, so she has like a, a, a bob, a classic bob. All right, and so this is the two strand twist. And then you can take the, can you pop the red bear on right quick? So we're just gonna put the red bear on the one right quick. And we're gonna show you guys this stuff. There it is. So if she got these wet, she can take the red bear. And as you can see, it's not like you said, it's not pulling her hair. It's just going to pull. It's not snatching it out. You guys can see her forehead isn't moving. So it's very safe. Thank you, Supermodel Cheddar. Thank you, Supermodel Cheddar. And, oh, and she turned that off right quick. And she wants you guys to see that it did not compromise the texture of the style. So she has pearls on the end. So if you look at her ponytail, you see that? So yes. the red air is so That's a very gentle, good view. Right, that it did not compromise the actual synthetic hair. So the red air is very, very safe. So she got this wet in the shower, and she wanted to dry a little piece of it. The red air is not going to harm the install. of the. And this is a called a two-strand twist extension. Cool. Now tell okay. me, okay, so tell me this about Cheddar's hair. I love that we're just calling her Cheddar. I love cheddar, it. Yes, love it. yes, yes. Yay, cheddar, cheddar loves to be Cheddar. Okay. So here's uh -huh. what here's <laughs> here's what I want to know about Cheddar's hair. So mm -hmm. if she didn't have a rev air and she mm -hmm. washed her she washed her extensions, mm -hmm. how would she have dried them before and how long would it take versus using uh, this nifty little tool right here? Well, <laughs> if she didn't have the rev air, it would probably take one day to dry. <gasps> Wait, a day? A day. Yeah. How long will it take with a day? Like sleeping? 
Which one? Right, because you got to understand that Afro hair, oh, when, you, when you wet it, it kind of bunches up or texture hair. So if you have a, any degree of like wave or coil, um, um, you know, uh, or a tight curl pattern, once that hair gets wet, it's like a sponge. And so you already have hair that's mimicking, you know, your the artificial hair is mimicking your real hair. So that's going to take double the time to dry, number one. You have your hair, number two, you have the added hair. So most people, especially if you have a lot of hair, so that would be density. Now, if you don't have a lot of density, which would be how many fibers you have per cubic inch. So the less fibers, it would dry faster. But Cheddar has a lot of hair, like me. This is so a lot she of would shower? When you say a whole day, you mean like 24 Four hours. hours. Yeah. Because the whoa, alcohol whoa. hair is wet. And you mm -hmm. go, you know, right now it's so, it's humid in here. Like, it's just like, I have a fan. That's why my hair, the little Beyonce blowing on me. You see that? Because uh, <laughs> it's, so, it's so. Got you looking so crazy have, right now. Have, you love, got right. me looking so crazy. <laughs> and so we have, a, we have air conditioning on in here, but it's still clammy. Um, it's not, it's 90 plus degrees outside. So Afro hair or any, or texture hair in general, it acts like a sponge. Just always looking Okay, hey, here comes one of those questions that yeah. might seem insensitive, but not meaning, like just okay. literally trying to understand. Okay, mm -hmm. so her hair is wet for 24 hours. You know how when something is um, like as dense as you're saying, mm -hmm. and, and it takes that long to dry? Sometimes at the core of it, it's not really ever drying so much that it can get like moldy. Can that happen <laughs> on extension? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm just asking. The answer is emphatically yes. yes. And this is why we don't. Most people will not encourage people to wet um, the hair. That's one. Uh, but if you're going to be out like sitting in the sun, you're good. Because you're going to, the sun's going to bake it dry. Sure, it's hot enough. It, it's, it's a pandemic. And uh, people aren't going outside as much. Some people are, but there are a lot of people who are not. And so um, for that reason, they don't really promote that you get that hair wet too much. And if you do, you don't want to leave it in too long because the hair can become moldy. And as hairstylists, we see it all the time. Mm -hmm. And again, this is why it is so important that you take your education and your information from your technician about what to do. And so we, yes, yeah, so we definitely encourage our guests because we have braiders and they swear by rest air. So we have braiders who do knotless braids, you know, box braids, good old fashioned just extensions. And we have never seen a uh oh a faux pas with rev air. We have customers. We I have another customer who just was able to get their rev air. And so everyone's very satisfied. So from our end, but remember we're training everybody and so, uh, and we're partners with you guys, and we listen to the education from the company. We don't try to create stuff. So Rev Air teaches the Revis design team, and then we pass the information to the guests, coupled with our knowledge. If we have more questions, we go back to the company. And so this is why, guys, it's so important to work with licensed professionals who mm -hmm. partner with companies who's going to work together for your benefit, even at the risk of, like she said, I don't want to sound a little slow or I don't want to be offensive. And the same with me. I don't want to be a little slow or a little offensive, but we've got to have a discussion and we need you guys' feedback so much so that we can get better and we can reach out to the experts to make sure that we're giving you guys the best information because let's face it, I'm a salon owner, but the salon is the last place to get healthy hair. You know where you get healthy hair at? Oh. Home. Home. <laughs> this is yeah, fast. I'm so glad you said that because you spend like one day in the salon and how many days at home? It like doesn't exactly. happen magically just yes. in the salon.
Well, I yeah. want to say a couple of things. Um, Natasha up there just told me that she inboxed Lisa Renna on my behalf and said, watch this. This girl wants you to name a wig after her. So Natasha, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. You were the fourth person who's going to get a prize. Come so on, Lisa. My Rev Air team, there's now four people that I promised we would slide into their DMs to get their address. And I'm going to send them a little something from yours truly. Um, so before we finish tonight, I have to say, first of all, thank you. Thank you to everybody who's been watching. Um, I know when I started this, I said that I wanted to continue the conversations that people have been having in the media, in social media, and hopefully around their own damn tables, you know, where they are having the conversations about what people need to learn and unlearn in our society. And so Thank you for always being a safe place for me, Ladosha, so that I could talk to you about things that just I never learned and giving me that safe space to ask questions. So thank you so much for that. I really am so grateful to you. Um, you. Also, I want to say something because I saw that Tia Streety is on here. Um, Tia Streety is one of our Rev Air models, and she actually came to us after being just a person who tried the Rev Air on the television show, The Doctor. So before she was one of our models, she was just one of our real users, and her birthday was yesterday. So Aww. everybody send a shout-out birthday message to Tia Streety here in the comments. Happy then birthday. I want to remind everybody we are here every Thursday, so please be sure to join us at 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 o'clock. Um, on the eastern side of the world here or side of the United States. And then I also would like to ask everybody to please head over to our stories. And we have where we are taking um, your notes. So it'll ask you what topics do you want to see here in the lives. And I really want to know. So if you would please head over to our stories, tell us what you want us to talk about here so we can give you the content that you desire. And then lastly, I want to thank Ladosha. Ladosha, will you please tell everybody where they can find out more about you, more about your amazing products and books and everything else, Ladosha. And everything. So Lisa Brenna, we hope you get that. <laughs> I, okay, one first of, of all, I'm obsessed after. with Lisa Renna. She just we is are like... Obsessed. So herself, but when she wears those wigs and names them and says, what should I name this one? Every time I'm like, Crystal, Crystal, name it Crystal because I love her so much. So All right. Okay, Lisa. So we're looking for you. We're just looking for you. All right, Miss Lisa. <laughs> uh, but if you're just, okay, so now here's where you're going to find the book. Uh, what they don't tell you at the hair salon and starting your adventures are available at L right books.com you can also find them on amazon oh no oh no hold on available. you cut out a little bit you cut out a little bit me? so i want to repeat it it's l the letter l right right with a w books. Mm -hmm. l right books.com i don't want them to miss that thank you so much yeah, yeah you're you welcome also find them on amazon and they are also available um, on downloads on all of your ebook platforms so mm -hmm. i books uh kindle nook so you can download either book. And then this book comes to life. So if you download this book, you'll see some cool things wow. happen when you down. Oh, yeah. So check that download out. I'm telling you, I, I say it every time, but I mean it every time. I don't know when you sleep. <laughs> like, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> and the hair care products, all that stuff, you can find everything, you know, on, and I have my own Amazon page. Just go to Ladosha right Amazon, and you'll get that fresh from earth tea so everything is there so check me out there too okay and then one last thing i know everybody is always asking when we're going to be back in stock so you can see in our comment section that you can text the word restock to the number we're going to list there and you can get a text notification um, that will put you on the wait list and then you can also head over to myrevair.com that's myrevair.com you can sign up for our e-blast, and that will get you on the wait list. Now, I have to tell you today, cha-ching, cha-ching, lots of people were buying. I love that sound, and I'm sure that all of you love that sound, too. Um, so what I want to tell you is that that means our register was ringing, which means we've had some in stock. So get on the list, because people are 
being able to get their own Revere. So yes, get on the list, are. be patient. It's slowly but surely happening. Text Restock to 29071. Restock to 29071 to get those restock notifications. And then I will let you close this up, Ladosha. All right. So we want to thank you guys so very much for your time. And remember, don't forget to visit Rev Air and get those uh, suggestions in. Any Anything that you want us to talk about, they would love to hear. Not just me and her, but you know what I'm saying, okay? And so don't forget <laughs> we're always signing out, right? Oh, Lisa, don't forget the crystal naming, okay? Lisa, <laughs> in the heathen. So you know what we say? We're always signing out, right? We're talking about a whole lot of peace a whole lot of love, and a whole lot of hair. And if you have no hair, don't want any hair, can't grow any hair, ain't even interested in hair, you know what, that's okay. Because Crystal and I, we want you to just rub your beautiful, beautiful ball head. It's okay. We love you guys. All right. See you guys next Thursday. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye. Bye.